Last week, Fiverr has invited me to do a webinar for all the sellers to teach them how they can speed up their workflow with AI tools. And I thought it's a great opportunity to show all those amazing tools with you as well. And so let's get started. Even though AI tools are not new, they have really exploded in uh, the last three years or so. The amount of development budgets and different tools that have appeared is completely mind-blowing. And honestly, at this point, it's almost a full-time job just mapping and figuring out which tools to use for what. Lucky for you, I am here to test all those tools and share with you what works, what doesn't, and what you should be using. I split my list into five categories, which is text, images, video, sound, and I recommend you watch all of them. However, if you're interested only in a single category, feel free to skip to that specific chapter. All right, the first category is content and text. And we'll start with a tool that I think nobody actually needs an introduction. It's a tool that everybody has been using and it's essentially kind of like a jack of all trades. That is ChatGPT. ChatGPT can write content, for example, act as a content writer, write an article on how AI changes the content writing space. And uh, ChatGPT goes and writes the article. As it finished the article, I can give it various instructions of what to do with it. So for example, Simplify the article. It's been a while since I've started using ChatGPT and I'm still shocked and surprised every time I see it in action. And one last one, act as a cat. Say only things that cat can do or think. Wait for my input before answering. And it answers, yum, time to eat, puss. And there you have it. Brain the size of a planet and uh, all it's brought here to do is to pretend it's a cat. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time on ChatGPT and I have recently made a whole video dedicated only to more advanced and more professional prompts, which you can check out here. So be sure to watch that video to learn advanced and unexpected use cases for ChatGPT. Let's move on to more specialized tools. Our first specialized tool is called Copy AI and Copy AI helps you to create content and copy for blog posts, for social media posts, SEO, and a bunch of other pretty fine cases. So for example, um, let's say we wanna create a hero copy for our website. So let's take website copy and landing page hero text. Here we can say hacking modern life, uh, YouTube channel for techies and newbies alike. And we want the tone to be friendly. So create content. And it starts giving ideas and suggestions for a copy for that uh, um, website. How Human Life is a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching new viewers on how to use technology in their everyday life. All right, we can start with that. It's not for devices. Here you will learn how to use all these digital life hacks. Once you type a little bit of text, you can press tab and copy, I will continue writing the content for you. And we can ask it to be rewritten as well. So let's say that. Here you will learn several digital love hacks that will help improve your quality of life. Next tool is Brainstorm. And Brainstorm, uh, while it's a simple tool, it can save countless hours to somebody who puts out content consistently. So, you know, every week, every month, whatever. What it does, it creates a profile of the uh, person so here we'll say uh, tech YouTuber. An organization is Hacking Modern Life. And we save that. And now we get a menu where we can choose a Twitter thread, LinkedIn post, YouTube script, and so on. So if we click any of those, we'll get a number of ideas. We can also give it our own concepts or ideas. So for example, AI tools and give us ideas. So given the context of the uh, person, in this case, a tech YouTuber, and the idea we ask, it generates a number of ideas. So introduction to AI tools, and the person cons of using AI tools versus hiring a developer. And yeah, I have my name defined as Johnny Mnemonic in this case, but it uses your name and description and story and so on. And it basically wrote a YouTube script for us. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. The next tool is called Perplexity AI. Perplexity is basically Google 
with AI embedded. So as we said with ChatGPT, it can hallucinate or come up with new ideas that don't actually exist and it doesn't do fact checking. But Perplexity gives you the sources where it took the information from. So let's say we're looking for uh, what are kangaroos. It will search for kangaroos and it will tell us that it knows that they're native to Australia because of Wikipedia life science and bush heritage. And then we can ask how high can they jump? And it says can jump up to six feet and cover a distance of eight to nine meters with one jump. Okay, next one is a tool that just joined the AI bandwagon. And that tool is Notion. Notion is an amazing note-taking tool and it allows you to uh, manage and organize all your information in one place. So I manage everything related to that channel inside Notion. And uh, Notion have recently added uh, AI features as well. So now you can, when you add a page, you can press space and get the AI recommendation, including brainstorming ideas, blog posting, outlining, and so on. So let's say we want to brainstorm ideas. Brainstorming ideas on usage of kangaroos in smart homes. And here we have like a bunch of different ideas. And uh, let's say I want to do kangaroos by design elements in architecture, interior decor, and say make longer. And now we have beginning of an article on the kangaroo inspired design elements in interior design and architecture. Notion AI is free up until a certain amount, which is dynamic and dependent on how big your team is. And from that point on, it becomes $10 a month per user. Not cheap, but it's still where your data is, and that's a big advantage. We're done with text and content. Let's move on to images. If you have heard of ChatGPT, you have probably heard of DALI as well. DALI is OpenAI's image generation engine. However, at this point, DALI is over a year old. In the AI world, that's like eternity. So we have new and much better engines to play with. The first engine we're going to be exploring today is called Midjourney. And with Midjourney, we can do beautiful, detailed images. The prompts don't have to be so complicated. It can be something simple. And Midjourney is also able to replicate an image you give it or generate things like landing pages or icons. So here we have our developer on top of a mountain. Here we have our mob boss, the app icon. And here we have our landing page. I have previously made a very detailed video of all the pumps and tips and tricks of how to make the best use of Midjourney. And that video is linked up here. Midjourney is free for the first 25 images, and then it's $8 a month for substantial use. I've never came even close to the limit. Midjourney's main competitor is Stable Diffusion. And Stable Diffusion is an open source, fully customizable, updatable, and improvable. That has two effects. First, Stable Diffusion is constantly being improved by a huge community of people, and it's been expanded with new capabilities and new things it can do. Second, there's a bunch of products that integrate Stable Diffusion in them, which don't necessarily say they're based on Stable Diffusion. I'll have a very detailed tutorial video on Stable Diffusion on this channel in the future. In the meanwhile, I want to mention two specific derived products. The first one is called Astra. And Astra is based on Stable Diffusion, but what its claim to fame is, is that you can train it on your own images, and that's very easy. You need to upload between 4 to 30, 20 recommended images of whatever you want to add into the um, model, and it can then generate images from your photos. So here are some examples of what I generated after uploading my photos. I love the little Funko Pop here. And it's not limited only to people. Here I uploaded seven photos of shoes, and then I prompted them as rainbow color on Kizik shoes. And that's what I got. Or a photo of a green and purple Kizik shoe with stars. Here we can see that with detailed uh, prompts, we can get to a car designed after the shoe, for example. Or put the shoes in the dune. I love these ones. These ones I would buy myself. And uh, Asta also allows you to do videos. For example, something like this. The next tool I want to show you is called Playground AI. And Playground AI 
allows you to modify images with instructions. It's also based on uh, stable diffusion. However, that specific part is based on an algorithm called instruct pix to pix. And we can say, when we have this image here, change the code to letter. And basically within 10 to 15 seconds, we get this. We touched video a little bit when I was mentioning Astra and uh, Stable Diffusion with the form. Runway are basically leading to the research for AI video. And one of the co-founders of Runway also participated in the research paper that resulted in Stable Diffusion. Runway has a bunch of different features here for video. For example, to remove the background from a video. And we can take a demo, for example, choose an item and preview. And you can see how the background was detected in the whole video and it was made transparent. Kind of mind blowing. And also it can delete elements in a video. If I mark the skydiver here, look what happens. Boom. No longer skydiver. And here you can see where it was masked. Next app is called Glink. And Glink is actually a very useful tool for video editors. What Gling allows us to do is to take a video. For example, here's a previous video recorded. And once you open it, basically it allows you to edit by cutting takes and it will remove silence from the video. And you can export it into Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Premiere as a pre-cut video. It also detects when it's multiple takes and cut them off. And next tool is called DID. DID allows you to make live avatars. Like, for example, this kid can say anything, and all it took is one photo. And while it's not exactly perfect, and the voice is obviously not my voice, but with the right picture, it looks pretty convincing. And speaking of voice and how it sounds, let's move on to the audio section of this video. And the first product in the audio section is called Eleven Labs. And Eleven Labs can be trained on your own voice by supplying two or three minutes of audio, and then it can basically sound kind of like you. Eleven Labs is able to train on my voice and then convert written text to spoken text, arguably even better than I can. Not my voice yet, but it's definitely getting there. If you're already talking about uh, voice, let's talk about music. This is Mubert, and Mubert can generate songs based on our description. So. A funky tune with heavy guitars. Generate the track, takes it a few seconds, and let's hear the result. All right, and the next tool is also a sound generator, and it's called Soundo. Soundo essentially uses AI to generate music, and it's very similar to Epidemic Sound or Artlist or any of those kind of music libraries. But here, if you don't like something about this song, you can completely customize and change it. Check this out. So let's say I listen to this song and I like it. So essentially I can change the length, energy level, where do different instruments come in, and I can choose the instruments for each part of the song. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, those were a lot of tools. However, there's new AI tools all the time. If you want to keep on top of things and you want to learn more or have somebody to discuss with all these different tools, definitely go and check out our Discord community. At this point, there's like almost 2000 people in there, which is completely mind blowing. I was hoping to have at least 200 people there at some point. Well, we're almost at 2000. Also the channel is going, uh, it's 4,000 subscribers at this point. I appreciate that so much. And uh, I'm very open to hearing more of what you would like to learn about. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to keep on track of other algorithms and other tools and digital life hacks that I will be showing here in the future. Until next time, see ya.